Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about frequency separation from the very start to the very end, and we're going to be retouching this very image. I know it looks a little bit complicated or complex when it comes to how difficult it may seem to retouch. You can see before and after, but we're going to be learning how to retouch it from the very start to the very end. You can see before and after. So I'm just going to delete this retouched image. So what you have to understand about frequency separation, it is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer, we have the textures and in the low frequency layer, we have the colors. So when you combine both the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer, you end up with the retouched image. So you're just going to first of all, remove the skin imperfections in this image. And in order to do that, we're just going to create one of those layers by pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard. And you're going to use this layer to remove the blemishes from the image. So you're just going to get the patch tool. Right click right here. And you get the patch tool. And make sure it is in new selection mode right here. And what we want to do basically. We are going to make sure source is active right here. And after that we're just going to remove the blemishes or imperfections from the image. So how this tool works you basically circle over the blemish and drag it to a clean area so you left click and draw over the blemish and move it to a clean area so that is how you can use the patch tool so i'm just going to be doing this and i'm going to be forwarding this and i'll see you later on in this very tutorial Hello, what's up YouTube? And now you can see I'm done removing majority of the bumps or the blemishes that were part of the skin in the first place. You can see the before and after, before, after. So right now we just want to do a skin retouching and even out the transitions within the skin color while still retaining the textures using frequency separation. Like I said, frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency and the low frequency. So remember we already have one layer right here. So I'll just come and duplicate that layer. And I'm going to name this to low frequency. And I'm going to name this into high frequency. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to the low frequency layer and simply hide the high frequency layer. And in the low frequency layer, like I said, I only want to remain with the colors or the skin tones in the low frequency. So just come to filter, blur and come to Gaussian blur. And I'll have the Gaussian blur window open for me right here. So move the radius up to a point when you're starting to lose out on the skin texture of your image. So just come and stop at the point when you're just starting to lose out on the textures within the skin. So you shouldn't cram this radius because this image may be having a different amount of textures than your images. So I'm just going to use the radius of 6 and stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear or get lost from the image. And come and simply click on OK. So come the high frequency layer and now activate it then simply come to image then come to apply image and simply with this since this is an 8-bit image make sure you're going to be using rgb right here and select the low frequency layer because we want to extract the textures from the low frequency layer the blend mode has to be subtract or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale is 2 and offset 128 make sure the invert option is not turned on and you see the textures on this gray kind of layer and simply come and click on OK. So you want a blend mode that is going to eliminate the gray color from the image. And that is going to be linear. Let's just come to the blend mode right here and change it from normal and change it to linear light and we'll get back the image the way it was meant to be before. So I'm just going to put these two in a group by pressing Ctrl or Command and clicking on both and pressing Ctrl G or Command G on the keyboard. Then you can name that group to frequency separation after double clicking on right here. So after that, you're just going to open up this and simply select the low frequency layer. So in order to retain the textures as you're retouching your image, you're going to be using a mixer brush tool. So with this, just come and first of all turn off the 
high frequency layer and come under the brushes simply right click and get the mr brush tool if at all you're having an older version of photoshop you may find your mr brush tool down here so make sure you select the mr brush tool and make sure the hardness at zero make sure it is a clean brush right here make sure the option that says clean clean brush after each and every stroke is also selected the weight is nine percent the load of 75 percent the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent that is what i prefer to use so you may find various settings for mr brush tool by different retouchers so you have to see what works best for you but as i've said this is what i always use when i'm trying to retouch so make sure sample all layers is not checked because when you sample all, all layers it means it's also going to be sampling information from the texture layer so make sure sample all layers is not checked and how to use the mr brush tool you have to move it in the direction of how the skin is flowing so you can see we simply paint and mix or blend the skin but the more plastic it is getting as you're doing this the better the results at the end of the retouching process so just come you left click and hold down so in order to decrease or increase on the size of the mr brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard then also if at all your mr brush tool is showing a plus icon make sure you press the caps lock key on the keyboard so you left click and hold down and simply move around your cursor and that brush is going to be blending the skin tone transition so make sure you do this and you take your time while you're trying to mix and blend so what i'm going to i'm just going to be forwarding this so that this tutorial is not a long one And also, as you're retouching, what you have to ensure is don't zoom all the way in. Because when you zoom all the way in, you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions in the image. And you'll have to take so, so much time trying to retouch. So, always retouch at a distance if at all you want quick and better results from your retouching process. So, I'll keep forwarding this. hello what's up youtube and as you can see we are done blending the uneven skin tone transitions within the image but we have still retained the original almost of the textures that were part of the image at the start of the tutorial so you can see a before and after so after using the mr brush tool the next thing i tend to do is using the lasso tool to blend the transitions better and fill up the areas that i may have missed out when i was using the the mixer brush tool rather so i'm just going to come right here and select the lasso tool with the new selection mode activated the feather angle 22 pixels because i want the selection to have smooth edges that is why i'm using 22 pixels and until last checked right here what i'm going to i'm just going to make a selection on the skin area but still with the low frequency layer selected just come back to after making the selection come to filter and come to blend come to gush and blur right there and with the radius that i had initially before i'm just going to start taking that up up to a point when i I feel like the texture is really nice and even. So at around 19, that is okay. And I'm just going to come and click OK right there. So I'll be applying this. So you have to click out from the selection to deselect that selection. So right click and come to Gaussian Blur. And when you feel like it's too much for liking, you can simply right click on the selection and come to Fade Gaussian Blur and reduce on the effect or the opacity in that area. So I'm just going to be applying this onto. The rest of uh, the image so i'm just going to come and apply it to these other areas that have skin and this helps you to perfect or fine tune the areas that you may have missed out as you're trying to blend or mix the transitions using the uh, mixer brush tool technique for frequency separation so you can see we are done refining the skin area so what we want to do is just want to remove those other remaining blemishes within the image so just come the high frequency layer. remember the high frequency layer contains the textures and blemishes are part of skin texture so just come and after selecting it and come and get the clone sum tool or you can use s on the keyboard for a shortcut and make sure the hardness is at zero the mode is normal opacity and the flat 100 percent 
make sure sample is on current layer because you only want to sample information that is part of the high frequency layer which is the blemishes or the textures so in order to use the clone sample you can reduce on the size or increase on the size by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard then also how to copy and stamp clean skin simply hold down the option or alternate key on the keyboard and when you hold it down simply left click on an area that is close to the blemish and copy it so you hold an option or alternate and left click to copy clean skin that is close to the blemish and make sure the size of your clone sample is slightly bigger than the blemish that you want to replace so alternate and left click or option left click and copy and simply left click to paste over the blemish to eliminate it so i'm just going to be doing this for the remaining blemishes within the skin area and i'll be seeing you later on in this tutorial Hello, what's up YouTube and as you can see we are done removing the blemishes or skin imperfections from this very image and you can see the quick before and after for the retouching process and you can see that we have really done a pretty nice job using frequency separation. So this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have loved the video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating